I cannot believe I'm actually saying this right now, but after developing the same open world RPG for 700 days, it's finally finished. I mean, kind of. Last week, I technically completed my open world RPG I've been working on over the past two and a half years. We made sure that you could complete the game from start to finish, and sent the game off to our internal publisher QA team. Now these guys will test for any kind of bugs or glitches that prevent the game from being completed, or finding any bugs that can crash the game, or just at all lower the user's experience, but for the most part, the game is done. So why am I saying that it's not? Well, to get the obvious answer out of the way, yes. Finding bugs and fixing those is definitely still a part of completing the game. However, there's a lot more to game development than just finishing the project. So before I dive into the meat of what I'm calling post-production game development, let's just take a quick step back and discuss what the last two weeks of developing a commercial project actually looks like. So, what happened in the last two weeks? To be quite honest, in your last two weeks of developing a game, you should have everything ready to go and in place. In reality, we had a lot to get done. So, from designing new side quests and more villagers to fill out the world, decorating the interior for the majority of our in-game houses, adding in the final game cutscene and credits, a very daunting controls menu, and finally creating the Cave of Heroes, which is a point of interest in our game dedicated to our Kickstarter backers. The final thing to get done was to create a separate branch of the game only to be accessed by the internal playtesting team, which brings us to the present day where we are waiting. Waiting for bugs to be found so we can jump back in, fix them, and repeat the process over and over for the month of July. So coming back to this idea of post-production game development, this is the stage where your game is officially released, but you still have a ton of work to get done. You see, when I used to finish a project, I would release it, maybe fix a couple bugs in the first week that it went live, and leave the game to be forgotten indefinitely. However, now that I have thousands of players waiting to get their hands on the game, there is quite a lot more responsibility I need to take on. From creating posts when a new update goes live on new bugs found from players, or potential content updates if the game does much better than we anticipated, I still have some things to get done that were promised way back from the Monster Tribe Kickstarter event. Well, in short, we still have an entire game to port, as I really wanted to push for a Nintendo Switch release for the game, along with the game's official art book that we are trying to put together now that the game is fully completed. We want to incorporate the entirety of the Monster Tribe story and all of the lore offered in the game in a neatly compiled book, also including any kind of concept art or official artwork we have worked on for the game. I'm super excited to release my game on a Nintendo console and release my first ever book. But I really wanna talk about something that not a lot of people do here on YouTube. Something I've never really discussed on this channel before is that just like a lot of you watching right now, for as long as I can remember, I have dealt with varied forms of anxiety. Eventually, the anxiety developed into overthinking, which led me into believing every event in life needed to be pre-planned and fully figured out before the event ever actually occurred. And so as I entered this new phase of my life trying to develop video games and make a living wage working for myself, you can imagine that as an overthinker, this was very difficult. From trying to plan out every event of my future to now having to adapt to a constant new normal way of living or finding job security through different avenues, change is a constant part of my life now. Taking risks and adapting to what works will not end for as long as I need an income. Come. Don't get me wrong, I love making videos and developing video games, but understanding some of the realities of the job is something I've only recently come to terms with. You see, while I was working on finishing the game, the one thing getting me through all of this was knowing that I was almost at the finish line. I was almost done completing my current project and starting something new. As time went on and the game developed further, I remembered about the work needed to be done after the game was complete. 
I then started to focus solely on what wasn't done, how I could complete those tasks as fast as possible, and get to this unrealistic idea of starting fresh. The truth of the matter is that in most career paths, there isn't really ever a start or end point to any kind of job experience. This may sound extremely obvious to some, but for my reality, this idea of life never really hitting a finish line definitely hit deep. Over these last few weeks, I've put a huge effort into understanding that even though Monster Tribe is releasing August 15th, I may still be working on this game well into 2022 or even 2023. It doesn't have to mean I can't take a few weeks off to enjoy life every now and then or start something new while I'm slowly working on long-term tasks. I'm taking a huge focus on just figuring out what's going on in my life right now. I just wanna appreciate each experience for what it is and not focus on a finish line. Living for each experience individually will bring a lot more happiness than living for a single rush upon completion. If you find yourself struggling with these same kinds of over planning or overthinking situations, I encourage you to sometimes just get lost in what you're doing. Leave the deadlines and schedules behind and focus on one task at a time with no further planning involved. It's healthy to balance spontaneous behavior and structure, just make sure you don't lose one or the other along the way. I certainly did, but I'm working on getting that balance back. If you're watching this right now, I just wanna say thank you so much for following along with me on this journey of developing my dream open world RPG monster Truck. It has been an amazing learning experience for me and the sheer number of you that I've met along the way and the opportunity to find a new career over these last two years is irreplaceable. I've been so focused on the completion of the projects, I've neglected looking at the smaller achievements we've mustered along the way. I can't wait for you all to play the game and see what we as a community will create next.